Hey guys, Josh with Right Coast Off-Road. <clears throat> Gonna do a quick install video on the brass door bushings. Help get all the slop out of the doors. Made by a guy named Bud Shoemaker. I'll put his phone number, email, and the eBay link in the description. But we'll jump right into it. Uh, basically what happens, the plastic ones get worn out and the doors get real sloppy and squeak, squeak real bad. But So you've gotta disassemble the whole door to do it. <clears throat> you have to take these two 10 millimeter bolts out Everything else is a Phillips. I like using a number three. It fits a little bit better and it won't strip out as bad, but there's Phillips all over. The darker colored ones like that are actually going to metal. They have a washer behind them. And then the silver ones here <clears throat> are like wood screws or self tappers that just go into plastic. But you're gonna pull all of them out and then you gotta get your push pins out here. And then once you get the panels off, I'll show you how to take the uh, door latch system off and how to get that back together. All right, guys, once you get your uh, push pins out <clears throat> and all the screws, if you look down in here, you can kind of see the, uh, let me get a flashlight here. Hold it right there. You can kind of see where that slips in there. And then there's a little L bracket that goes in there. What you want to do I'm not going to be able to do it with the camera in my hand, but you're going to pull up on it and slide it out of the top to remove the outer door panel. All right, so once you get that panel off, once you pull it out of there, make sure you don't lose that little rubber grommet in there. You got uh, one screw there, one there, one there. The lower panel will come off, and then the inner panel will come off, and we can get to where the bushings are. All right, guys, so all the door skins are off. These are actually your hinges there top and bottom and the bushing you can see sits right there that's the plastic bushing that wears out so we're gonna remove those and put the brass ones in there that make it good and tight <clears throat> and to get these off is kind of a pain let me see if I can get zoomed in on it there's a little circlip there it goes zoomed in on it there's a little circlip right there you have to pop off and then there's a washer too but you pop that circlip off the washer will drop then you drive the pin up and same thing for the bottom and then we'll install the bushings. All right, so we got the <clears throat> stock bushings out and the brass bushings will sit right on top, on top and bottom. And then we'll put the door frame back on, pin drops in, lines up through all of them. And then you put your washer on the bottom with your circlip and then we'll reassemble. All right, so put everything back together uh, obviously the opposite of disassembly, putting it back together. Um, you want to put the inside panel on first and then this outer panel because it has some screw, the hidden screws in there that we talked about. Uh, then outer panel and pop everything together. Uh, and it is much more, you don't have that up and down play anymore. And when it shuts, it shuts. So that's it. Thanks guys. And, uh, again, all the, uh, Links will be in the description. It's not something we sell, but he's a cool guy running his own business. So we're going to promote him and uh, hit him up. 60 bucks shipped. Thanks.